Hey, what's going on? I am Jay Dudley sitting in the van and uh, the sun is going down. So I'm going to lose this uh, like mood lighting or whatever. It's going to get a little bit darker. But um, I heard something a while ago. I was going to do a video about it. I was listening to the JRE podcast and uh, they were talking. Well, Duncan Trussell was on there, so I'm not sure which JRE podcast it was, but it was in 2022. So whenever Duncan was on there, you could go back and listen to it. But there was uh, something that he said that I'm not sure if it's a quote that he made up or something that he heard before, which made me think it was playing in my mind a whole lot that, um, well, here's the quote. Uh, if uh, if an arrow lands at your feet, don't pick it up and start stabbing yourself with it. And I was thinking about it like, why would anyone? Oh, okay. That makes total sense because you know a lot of people that will make it out of a, a bad situation or something could have went worse. Uh, and and they could have gone down a really bad path, but they were able to keep going. And if they just ignored that right there, they were able to get to safety or they were able to uh, move forward or change their lives or do something different or become victorious. But no, they would focus on, oh, there's an arrow right there on the ground that somebody tried to shoot me with. So instead of going to safety or returning fire or something like that, they would pick it up and start stabbing themselves like, oh, uh, look, somebody tried to shoot me with an arrow and now I'm bleeding. Like that, that's just totally ridiculous. There are a lot of people uh, that use race to put themselves in that exact situation, whether it's, um, uh, oh, because of however many years ago, 400, 500 years ago or whatever, uh, this group of people were enslaved. So I am oppressed now. Like, no, you have a iPhone or if you're weird, you have an Android phone. And you're free to do what just about whatever you want to do in life. But the only thing that's holding you back is you. You have multimillionaire uh, black people that are saying, oh, I am oppressed. How are you oppressed? Look at, uh, look at, oh, it's not that you've achieved financial freedom it's that you're oppressed in your mind. Your uh, arrow landed at your feet. You're picking it up and stabbing yourself. Or you're using that arrow and profiting uh, over yourself. Um, there was a, a image of a, uh, a, like, kind of depicting this online. I don't have any footwear. Actually, I do. Here in the van, you never know what you find. It's one of my wife's shoes. It was a um, uh, it was a picture online of a, a guy like this, and then there's a shoe. Uh, I'm pressing down his face. He's like, "Oh no, oh!" But if you zoom out, it's just him holding the shoe on his head, and it's like all of that starting to. Oh, let's put that down there. Uh, all that's starting to make sense. Like, why, why would you pick up that shoe and take a picture of someone stepping on your head when it's just your hand uh, that's oppressing you? That's you picking up that arrow, stabbing you in the chest. There are people that are given so many opportunities where... They can achieve so much, but they find the smallest little things to be either offended or say that it's not right uh, and they, that they should be doing so much better, but they're not taking the initiative to do uh, so much better. 
They they want everything gifted to them and they want to feel oppressed. There are women that are out there saying, oh, women make 70% less. Or, I mean, seven, I don't even know what the equation is. Uh, overall, like, okay, that makes sense. Uh, if you group all of the women up together, you are 100% correct. Women do make less overall on average than men because men don't take off for maternity leave or even have the opportunity to do that in some cases. Uh, men will take these extremely dangerous jobs. Like one of the, uh, there are, at least, well, no, just about all of my occupations, it was a male-dominated uh, male dominated profession. When I played semi-pro football, there was there was zero percent uh, females on the team. I think one team that we played had a female kicker. Uh, when I became a professional fighter. There was very few, uh, well, professional MMA fighters, there were very few female fighters or females that would even train to uh, even think about becoming a professional fighter because there was no industry for it. But uh, as time went on, more and more females started to get into it, and then they were, uh, they were accepted in the highest organization, which is the UFC. Then uh, I, I was I worked for the telephone company. I seen uh, well that was back when I was living out east. There well, at Verizon or Bell Atlantic, there were I maybe I saw one female technician when I was a a, a truck driver over the road truck driver. It was an anomaly to see a female truck driver. They use like, oh, wow, this this is uh, uh, something different. It's a male-dominated uh, industry, not because males are keeping the women out. It's the women keeping themselves out, but then complaining about it. They're picking up that arrow and stabbing themselves. Oh, I'm oppressed. Uh, feminism, blah, 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 blah. They like, know. You can get out there and do it. There was a girl that I dated. Uh, she uh, she had some of the exact same issues where uh, she took it upon herself to say that issues for her not excelling in uh, in the uh, in her workplace was because of her race. No, it wasn't because of that. Granted, there was uh, some uh, picking and choosing going on, uh, but she was not going above and beyond to make it so that there was no question about her excelling. And then even before that, she took herself, before I knew her, uh, she took herself out of the construction workforce uh, where she would have been making even more money uh, doing construction work, but no, uh, she uh, she found an opportunity a desk job that there are more politics involved in that. So she took herself out of the work pool of being a construction worker to being an office worker. And then with all the politics of office work, she then said it was because of her race, but her higher ups were the same color as her. So she's picking up that, uh, oh, on camera, my knuckles look really ashy. That distracted me for a moment, but it's actually not. It's just uh, my rings. Uh, but she was choosing to pick up that arrow and constantly stab herself and saying that, oh, I'm oppressed. Uh, this is happening because of this instead of pushing forward. There's so many people out there that, they have the opportunity to do so much more, but it's not other people holding themselves back. It's themselves holding themselves back. So for you uh, or whoever is watching this, know that you are not being held back. You 
if you live here in the United States, you live in the freest country in the world, you can get out there and accomplish so much uh, that, that your heart desires that's legal, uh, um, uh, that's legal per se. And you, you are free to continue on and live life happy. That's the biggest thing. Uh, people will say, oh, I'm sad. I'm depressed. I, I, woe is me. The weather is making me feel this way. No, it's you making yourself feel this way. Stop picking up those arrows and stabbing yourself with it. Uh, like no one can bring you down. You can always find a way to smile. At least I hope that you can. And if you can't, I, uh, you should talk to someone and then figure out what makes you smile and continue to do that as long as it's legal and uh, it's uh, something that's moral. But outside of that, live your life, be happy, stop uh, picking up arrows that missed you and stabbing yourself with them. So that's it. Shalom.